representing Ashish Shakula. And Ashish is from Water Equity, and I'm pretty keen to hear about delivering financial returns while solving social challenges. So I'd like to welcome Ashish up to the stage. Thank you. Uh, thank you to the Water uh, Center team and Water Entrepreneur team. I'm delighted to be here. My name is Ashish and uh, I'm based in S Singapore. i uh, love to talk to you about our unique platform that is Water Equity. Uh, next slide, please. So let me start with a quick overview of who we are. Water Equity is a young and upcoming social impact asset manager. As of now, we manage about uh, $60 million in AUM, but a number that is growing uh, rapidly. Uh, we invest in financial institutions and water and sanitation enterprises in low-income countries to enable uh, families living in poverty to get access to clean water and sanitation. Um, proud to say that uh, we are the first ever impact uh, investment manager uh, committed solely to the water and sanitation sector, which is why IA50 has recognized us two years in a row as the only manager uh, dedicated to SDG six goals. Um, next slide, please. In terms of what we do, uh, we essentially raise capital from accredited investors and HNIs, uh, primarily from the West, uh, foundations, commercially oriented investors, um, and, and folks like that, and then deploy them across a portfolio of uh, financial institutions and water and sanitation SMEs, uh, thereby creating an effective platform to generate both financial return as well as uh, social impact. Moving forward, why we do this? Next slide, please. Um, why we do this is essentially driven by our philosophy. And obviously there's data in this slide, uh, which I won't go into detail, but it's pretty clear, but uh, driven by our background, water equity was spun out from an NGO called water.org about two and a half, three years ago. Uh, Matt Damon, um, a name you all recognize, and Gary White as the two founders and sponsors of uh, these two institutions have a very clear vision on improving access to clean water and sanitation uh, for families in emerging markets. Yes. Our uh, water equity focus is on this clear, aptly placed to direct capital uh, for this need and deliver true and real impact. Uh, next slide, please. What have we achieved so far? Um, we have deployed about $68 million so far, uh, given that we're quite young in our life cycle in high, as, uh, high quality assets in the last two and a half, three years. And in terms of outreach, we, our investments have uh, favorably impacted about 1.6 million people so far, um, out of which 23% of, of them are women in rural areas, uh, which uh, impacting them for, for the perspective of safe water and sanitation. Um, can I get the next slide, please? I talked about water equity in terms of who we are and what we do as a young upcoming social impact investor uh, asset manager, focusing only in the water and sanitation space. Uh, so just to kind of complete my presentation uh, from earlier, um, uh, this slide talks about in terms of our uh, thesis, um, through our investments in the fin in financial institutions and Water and uh, sanitation SMEs, we target uh, drinking water supply projects, uh, wastewater treatment projects, fecal sludge treatment projects, and most importantly, uh, household water and sanitation facilities. Uh, so as of now, we are active in four countries, India, Indonesia, Cambodia, and Philippines. Um, uh, uh, but that will obviously increase as we 
launch new products down the road uh, earlier next year. And uh, in terms of instruments, we offer senior debt and sub debt as of now. And hopefully that suite of products will, will increase as well. Uh, the investment size uh, of our uh, investment uh, range from as low as uh, half a million to uh, as high as 15 million, either in US dollars or in local currency. Um, last slide, please. The case study I thought would be a very interesting, should be interesting opportunity to talk about uh, in investment we made in this sector and to give you some more color. So we invested a um, million dollars, a small ticket uh, in a, a borough who's an EPC at an O&M company, essentially a SME that constructs and operates uh, drinking water supply projects and wastewater uh, projects in uh, peri-urban and rural areas uh, of central India. That $1 million uh, is much needed capital that they uh, boast, working capital essentially, which helps them to bid for these projects and eventually win those contracts to construct uh, these water facilities as well as operate them under, under a long-term O&M contract. Uh, why do we like uh, this, uh, this investment? Um, naturally, Look, uh, it meets uh, uh, our minimum eligibility requirement and has a reasonable financial profile, even though the borrower is small. Uh, but we also like the borrower's revenue model, which is a mixture of both uh, EPC margin as well as long-term recurring o &M fees, which is what, what we really like. But most importantly, the borrower has a good track record in uh, building these uh, facilities, these drinking water and wastewater uh, facilities, as well as operating them on the long-term contract. Uh, and needless to say, the market opportunity for this borrower in that region is quite attractive. A lot of government funding and multilateral funding uh, to meet the significant clean water uh, demand in that area. So that's what we did in this investment. So not only did we generate financial return, but also solved an, uh, a problem. So we created significant impact um, given that, this, given that the, sub, the focus is on supply of drinking water, uh, especially in rural and peri urban areas. So that was uh, the completion of my presentation. Thank you for your time and uh, happy to discuss more with folks uh, offline. Thank you very much.